Hi everybody, welcome to my channel Frugalisma. My name's Sam and this is where I talk about all things sewing. And welcome to day one of Vlogmas, Sam style. <laughs> if you've never watched my channel before, you will know that I like to talk, talk about uh, sewing, sewing on a budget, but I'm also oh, quite aware of, of the sustainability of sewing. So I thought I'd use Vlogmas as a quick way to give some quick tips of how you can use your sewing to uh, be a bit more sustainable. I thought that'd be uh, a bit different. So I'm going to do it alphabetically and the astute amongst you will know that there's 26 letters in an, an alphabet and only 24 days in the days running up to Advent. Uh, so I might struggle with X and a couple of others, so we might skip a couple of letters, but uh, I'm going to start with A uh, and I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a few um, quick tips and uh, a few facts as well. So I'm going to start with A for Amazon. <laughs> So did you know that Amazon, uh, I'm going to have to look at my notes here, destroys unsold and returned products. Uh, so anything that you send by and send back just because you didn't like it, um, sometimes it's because they, uh, they, uh, the uh, people that are providing the goods have to pay for storage and it's sometimes cheaper for them to actually destroy these goods in their boxes straight to landfill rather than it is to pay for storage and I'm just I just find that absolutely shocking so I will be using Amazon as a last resort um, I'm put my hands up I'm the same as anybody it, you're, it's an easy way to to shop it's just their business model basically it's just cheaper for people to to uh, to bin the stuff to send it to landfill and yeah why not choose smaller more responsible uh, providers shop local maybe um, it's the first of December now so you know if you've got got time and you you know you've got the means because we all know that obviously it's a, a cheaper way as well sometimes so just a quick fact about it in one one fulfillment in one fulfillment center in the UK there were 130,000 items in one week sent to landfill so can you imagine how many different fulfillment centres there are throughout the world and uh, just that's just going to landfill? I just find it shocking. And that was an investigation done by ITV. So that's like smart TVs, laptops, books, anything that you can imagine you can get from Amazon, it happens. So the other A is advent calendars. And uh, that's another huge plastic waste and it, there's different ways of doing advent calendars and as sewers, we can make our own, yay! So those are lovely, lovely panels where you can make your own and obviously this is the 1st of December but, um, you know, if you like last minute, like I am, lastminute.com like I am, you might be trying to make one. So I was trying to make one uh, out of a little Christmas stockings. I'll just show you an example here, uh, these little Christmas stockings here. And uh, I ran out of felt. So we won't be having an advent calendar this year, but there's loads of lovely panels, loads of lovely tutorials online. Or why not do a reverse advent? Um, you know, you can put an item into a box for charity every day and send, send that an item of food or an item of clothing and send that to a charity that you know is looking for uh, for donations so i thought the reverse uh, calendar was a fantastic idea yep number so so one and bring it out every year put in what you like you don't have to put up with bits and pieces that uh, that you you don't need or don't want and yeah if i'm spending 50 to 60 up, upwards of 50 to 60 pound on something I want it to be something that I want. It's come a long way from when I were a kid when it was a little cardboard advent calendar and there was a picture of uh, Jesus or Mary on it. When my son was little, he had a little wooden one with little drawers in and you could just put in whatever you wanted every year and it came out every year until he left home. <laughs> <laughs> That's me being frugal, as, as always. Oh, what about get making one and filled, filled with activities for children to do? You know, like make the mince pies today or make the Christmas pudding today or, you know, send some Christmas cards. I like the idea of ones for adults where it's random acts of kindness, where you can get in touch with a friend that you haven't spoken to for ages, just send them a message or send them a text. Or kindness to yourself, you know, give yourself a hot bubble bath. Just fill the little stockings, you know, if these were little fillable stockings like this and you just put a little note into yourself uh, and 
are just something to do for the day. This is my first ever Vlogmas. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know below what you do uh, with letter A uh, for Advent. If there's any ideas that you you do uh, to, to either save money or to be a little bit more sustainable over Christmas. Uh, and if you make your own Advent calendar and what you put in them, I'd love to know. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll just speak to you later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.